A judge has struck down the eviction moratorium in the city of Boston. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. All right, so I have an update for you, and it's going over the fact that a judge has struck down yet another eviction moratorium. And this time it was in the city of Boston, okay? So as you know, there are still eviction moratoriums going on in some states and some local municipalities. And the city of Boston, of course, being one of the more progressive places across the country, had its own city eviction moratorium in place. And thankfully, a judge has struck it down. But before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, maybe leave a comment down below, and let me know what you wanna see on this channel, okay? So I'm working to bring you articles about the eviction moratorium, rent control, good cause evictions, everything that has anything to do with landlords, okay? So this article comes from the bostonglobe.com, and it says, Judge strikes down Boston's eviction moratorium rules that city overstepped its authority to block enforcement of evictions during the COVID crisis. I'm glad that there are still some judges out there with common sense. So let's see what this article says about the situation. A state housing court judge on Monday overturned the citywide eviction moratorium, then acting mayor Kim Janey declared in Boston earlier this year. In response to a lawsuit filed by a Boston landlord and a constable, Judge Irene Bagdoin said the city had overstepped its public health emergency powers when the Janey administration in late August announced a blanket ban on enforcing evictions due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, right? And what it, what it sounds like is they had a blanket ban on evictions. So I'm not, I'm not 100% sure of exactly the wording of the, uh, the rules they had in place, but if they had a blanket ban where they basically just said, nobody can be evicted, then that means a lot of people who didn't deserve the protection, didn't need the protection of an eviction moratorium, they were unable to remove these people from, their, uh, from any property, okay? So a lot of landlords were left hanging on you know, with people who didn't qualify for rental assistance, who, you know, didn't lose their job, didn't have any financial impact, and they had to keep them up in their property. And that sucks, okay? So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this judge, you know, I mean, what, what they listen to the, the ruling this judge made and they get the eviction process rolling again as soon as possible, okay? Janey's move, which blocked enforcement of court-approved evictions in Boston, came in the wake of a Supreme Court ruling overturning a similar federal ban. And in the heat of this fall's mayoral race, when Janey's rivals were urging her to do more to protect vulnerable tenants. Since the start of the pandemic, housing advocates have argued that eviction bans protect public health by keeping people in their homes and out of crowded apartments where disease can more easily spread. Yeah, they, they've been using that excuse for quite a while, okay? They didn't even take you know, into consideration stuff such as maybe the fact that a large percentage of the population is vaccinated now, and even then, you know, um, the, the, the illness itself is very mild for the grand majority of people, yet a huge portion of the population has had at least one of the vaccine shots now. So, you know, the, the fact that when, when the, the whole thing was brand new, I can understand a little bit, not knowing how the virus spread, et cetera. But we're two years into this, nearly two years into this right now. And we have an effective vaccine, we have effective treatments, and we know a lot more about it. So this whole public health you know, argument is nonsense, okay? They never even proved that evicting someone would be the catalyst that spread the virus to anyone. No, what ended up happening was they found out that, hey, you know, this thing, it spreads very, very easily, very quickly. And it all, you know, there was pretty much nothing we could do to stop it other than just, you know, isolate ourselves, locked in the house, never talking or seeing anyone ever again. So, <laughs> and since we didn't want to do that, then eviction moratoriums, they didn't make any sense. But anyway, let's continue. But it drew immediate legal fire from critics who say such bans effectively force landlords to house people without compensation and stretch public health powers too far. 
In this case, Bagnoin agreed, noting that in Massachusetts, evictions are a matter of state law, not local authority. Yeah, that's that's interesting right there. So evictions are state law in Massachusetts and not local. So you can't pass an eviction ban. That's interesting. You know, I I didn't know that about Massachusetts, okay? So yeah, I mean, that that's an interesting way to look at it and that's an interesting fact that you know, definitely helps landlords in, in, in such a fight, okay? This court perceives great mischief in allowing a municipality or one of its agencies to exceed its power, even for compelling reasons, she wrote, noting that a suburban town could use a similar public health rationale to circumvent laws requiring affordable housing, for instance. In this court's view, such expansion of power by a government agency even for compelling reasons, should be unthinkable in a democratic system of governance. In Boston, what happens next is unclear, as a candidate, now Mayor Michelle Wu described Janie's moratorium as temporary relief, but said more is needed to help tenants. Her office did not immediately return messages late Monday about Bagdoin's ruling. So yeah, I mean, this judge looked into it and, you know, it was actually talking about the democratic system and everything. I mean, it, it's kind of surprising coming from a very left-leaning, progressive place like Massachusetts that, you know, you, you to be reading this sort of thing because it's not very common. <laughs> I mean, really, it's not. You know, usually, you have a lot of activist judges in places like this who support it's things that even go against the Constitution. So it blows my mind that, hey, you know, this one shut them down. <laughs> Malden and Somerville also have their own local eviction bans in place, and they'll probably get thrown out. As moratoriums have been shot down repeatedly in court over the last year, state and local officials have focused on rent relief programs as a more comprehensive approach to keeping struggling tenants in their homes. As of the end of October, the state has doled out $363 million in rental aid to more than 50,000 households across Massachusetts. The number of new cases filed still runs below pre-COVID levels and is lower in Su Suffolk County, home to Boston, than in some other parts of the state. Still, supporters of eviction bans say they remain a key ingredient in staving off the worst impact of the intertwined health and economic crises spawned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, and what, what they said up there in a couple of paragraphs higher, where they said as the eviction moratoriums have been shot down, they put more of their focus onto the rent relief programs, which I, like I've said, I don't have a problem with the rent relief program. My problem was that they kind of packaged the eviction moratorium and the rent relief together. And I don't like that. I don't think that an eviction moratorium ever needed to be in place in the first place, okay? So I think that landlords should have been able to evict tenants all throughout the pandemic, but they could have stopped those evictions if they had had a good relent, uh, rent relief program in place that paid the landlords directly for the money that they are owed, if that was their whole intention to keep as many people housed as possible. But they didn't have that. Instead, they put together this piecemeal mess, right? And then it took a long time to get a lot of the rent relief distributed and a lot of landlords didn't qualify and basically it left them holding the bag for this complete disaster okay so yeah um interesting stuff going on up in boston i'm glad to see that this judge used some common sense got rid of this local um, eviction moratorium and that landlords hopefully will be able to start evicting tenants again and and as the article also said, these other two little municipalities, hopefully their eviction moratoriums uh, are just thrown out now because it's unlawful. It's just not yeah, following the law to even have it in place. And, you know, if the state of Massachusetts requires, um, you know, basically a, a, the only thing they could, they could do would be if they passed a statewide eviction moratorium. They can't pass local ones. So if there's no stomach in the rest of the state for a statewide eviction moratorium, then that means it's pretty much over up there. So yeah, whew, good thing for these landlords. <laughs>